Hi there, this is Mele and welcome to my channel. In today's video, let us talk about the OCR actions in the Power Automate desktop. Now OCR actually helps you to extract the text or the content from the image. Initially, we had to initialize the OCR engine that used to produce the OCR engine variable. Now that has been duplicated. So if you have the updated version of the Power Automate desktop, you would not really see the action to initialize the OCR engine. We have the engine baked in. So let's go and use extract text with OCR. And you will see that we have two options. We have Windows OCR engine and the Tesseract engine. If we have the Windows OCR engine and if you will open the settings, you see that it can work with various different languages. Depending on the content that you have in a language, you can select the OCR language. If you go and change the Windows engine type to Tesseract engine and when you open the other settings, you will see that the list really narrows down. However, you can go ahead and use the other language and then you can provide the language data path and the language abbreviation. There is the documentation available on the Microsoft. I will leave the link in the description. You can go if you would like to work with any other language which is not defined in to this dropdown for the Tesseract engine. Now what we're going to be doing is I have an invoice file. I have an invoice image. One is a JPG, one is a PNG. Let me actually show you the invoice itself. So usually you have the build to, you will have a contact name, client, company, phone, and then you have a ship to, and then you will have all the description, unit, quantity, all the other details that you have in the invoice. This is more like a template, more like a sample, but this works well with the actual invoice as well. So let me go ahead and use this to read the content of the invoice. It's an PNG image. Let's go and configure that. Instead of screen as a source, I'll go with image on the disk and I'll provide the path C drive PAD invoices invoice.png and whole of the specified source yes I would like to look the text into whole image click on save let's click run let's wait for that to complete and the entire invoice detail we will have it in the OCR text if you open the variable you will see that it has read the entire text content from the PNG image file now if I just change it because I showed you that we also have the JPG so instead of PAG JPG click on save click run and it also works very well with the JPG as well you will be able to read the JPG file so I just want to show you a different possibilities that you have working with different image extension and you can parse the content now let's also see wait for a text on the screen let's drag and drop that action we would like to wait for a text to appear using the OCR technique. It will, the Windows engine will try to detect the text in the image. Let's find ship2. That's the word that we're looking at, which is here, ship2. So the Power Automate desktop will actually wait till the ship2 word appears either on the entire screen or on the foreground window. I'm going to keep as entire screen and let's click on save. And before that, let me disable this action and let me go ahead and launch the Chrome browser and let's open google.com. This is, I just want to show you that let's launch a new browser and it will launch the new browser and it will occupy the entire window so that the next action which is actually waiting for ship to appear using OCR we will open our image and then we will see the flow actually resumes and gets us the coordinate let's click on save when the OCR engine finds the ship to word in the image it will store that into X and Y so what I'm going to do is I'll keep this on I'll maximize this and keep it here so you can see ship 2 is on this X and Y coordinate with respect to the entire screen so let's go ahead and hit run, let it launch, it has launched and it has now moved to the next action. If I just show you this, you can see on the right hand side, it's actually waiting for ship 2 to appear. Let's go and open our image. So what that means is 
ship2 is now available on the screen. So it has identified the coordinates and then we'll finish the flow execution. Let's open the flow. It has finished the execution. The X and Y coordinates is 286, 654. Let me show you if I move this towards the upper side, obviously the coordinate should change. Let's repeat the same thing. Let's run again. It will launch the new Chrome and navigate to google.com and then it will wait for the ship 2 to appear. Let's open our image with the new coordinates now of course because ship 2 is changed. Let's go and check the new coordinates. So you can see now the coordinates has changed. It is 279 to 10. I thank you so much for watching this video.